Hi, Lakeland Dan here. Uh, I asked Seth to join us for our financial update this month because he's part of the story that we want to tell. Hang on to the end of our message, not for a magic trick, but for a miracle report. Uh, we're excited to share some things with you. You'll see in the email below the uh, graph of where we are financially. Actually, praise God, we're more than $10,000 ahead of budget going into December, which is fantastic. I actually don't remember that in, in many years. Uh, and that's because of God's provision for us and your faithfulness in being generous. So thank you and praise God for where we are in a really good place right now going into the year. You know, I said miracle report because whenever God works, it literally is a miracle. And just on Tuesday, we thought we'd capture a snapshot of what we heard in staff about ways that God is miraculously working in our midst. You want to share that one? Yeah. We, uh, we got an email from uh, Deb, and she said that uh, this morning my neighbor came over to ask me for help with some paperwork. Uh, the Lord opened the door for her to share Jesus with her, and she prayed for Jesus to become her Lord and Savior that moment. Uh -huh. And Deb said that she'd been praying for this lady for years and is rejoicing, and, and that's just absolutely a miracle. That, I would call that a miracle yeah. that God did in that moment. Um, you may not know this, but our Care for Nurses team actually went out Thanksgiving morning yeah. to distribute baskets to, uh, to four hospitals and to 10 urgent care centers in the community. And we actually heard some things back on that account. Sherry, who is on staff at Lakeland said, uh, first of all, one of her neighbors works at a hospital and she carried a basket over to her. And, and when the woman received it, she was overwhelmed, took a picture, sent it to us said she was sharing it with everybody on staff, including the brochure that, that invites folks to receive prayer. And in that interaction, actually reconnected with another nurse who's a part of Lakeland yeah. on our team. And that kind of a relationship mm -hmm. may well be getting rebuilt with more yeah. Christians. So that was cool. And then she also shared a second account. She was sitting in the stands at an athletic event for her daughter and started talking to the person next to her who was a nurse who talked about how exhausted she'd been. Yeah. And she said, did you work on Thursday? And she did. And she said, where? It was an urgent care center in Gurney. And she said, did you have somebody come in and give a basket? And she said, oh my gosh, yes, we did. Um, it, it so encouraged people. She said one person took all the cookies because she loved chocolate cookies and things like that. But um, then Sherry was able to say, actually, that was from our church. And she, she was stunned by that and even said, what church and when our services, yeah. she asked. And so that was a God moment when he was linking together these acts of kindness. You had one happen also. Yeah, uh, I've been praying for the Lord to reveal, uh, allow me to reveal his presence to people through yeah. our stories uh, message. And uh, last week when I was in and out of Jewel for Thanksgiving trying to get things that uh, I forget about, and uh, I ran across this older lady on, in the parking lot uh, who was a little hunched over and carrying some large uh, water bottles to her car. Oh, and yeah. I just felt the Lord saying, you know, you should help her. And so I asked her if I could help, and she first said no. And I was like, well, wait a minute, that's weird. I, I felt that. And two seconds later, she said, actually, I could use your help. And so I walked her to her car, put the stuff away. And um, she said, if I believed in God, I would say, thank God for you, young man. I wish more people were like you. And I said, well, actually, the Lord sent me to, to say to you that he sees you, that he loves you, and that he's, he, he wants to know you. And she got a little emotional and said, well, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm on staff over at Lakeland Church right down the road. And and she said, you are the third pastor that, that has come to me in the last month to say something similar like that. So you get to be in the middle of something yeah. God's doing in this woman. Absolutely. Every one of these is a miracle, my friends. And there, there are so many more than we even know are happening or can begin to report, but we are swimming in these great gifts. I literally want to say you're a part of every one of these stories through your prayers, through your partnership and ministries at Lakeland, and also through your financial generosity. Literally, you are in on every one of these. Part of the reason we wanted to share this video though was to ask, would you consider a year-end gift to Lakeland? Even though we're in a strong place, our budget plan uh, counts on increased giving in December, but more than that, there are some, some pretty exciting things coming up in this next year that you free us to be a part of. We're creating opportunities, more opportunities for people who don't know Jesus to hear the gospel, for those who are Christians to grow in fearing the Lord and worshiping him, We've got some pretty exciting things coming online about how Christians follow Jesus in this crazy world and how our lives represent him. And your financial generosity is a part of every one of those. And so would you ask the Lord, um, Lord, do you want me to do something in an increased way coming into December that would be a part of this? And then do whatever it is he says. We appreciate your partnership 
and what it is that's coming up in the days ahead. Yeah. And 2024 is going to be a fantastic year, and we yeah. cannot wait to partner with you. Yeah, because God is in the middle of that. All right? You have a Merry Christmas, and thanks for listening to the end. Merry Christmas.